Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will discuss service registration and discovery using Spring Cloud Eureka. In the end, we will see, how to build and run your own Netflix Eureka client and server with the help of Spring Cloud. So first let's see, what is a service discovery? Service discovery name itself is explaining about behavior, so in case of microservices there are many services running on the internet. So we need one centralized places from where we can directly find out which service is running on which IP and which port. Service discovery is, how applications and microservices locate each other on a network. Service discovery is a single lookup service and self-maintaining, you don't need to add clients because clients register themselves. Why do we need service discovery? There are a large number of microservices, and all services are interrelated, and they are communicating with each other, and this is very challenging to configure so with the help of service discovery it automated. You are writing some code that invokes a service that has a REST API so in order to make a request, your code needs to know the network location like IP address and port of a service instance. In a traditional, application running on physical hardware, the network locations of service instances are relatively static means always same. In a modern, cloud-based microservices application, however, this is a much more difficult problem to solve, because service instances have dynamically assigned network locations. The set of service instances changes dynamically because of auto-scaling, failures, and upgrades. Providers of Service Discovery Netflix, Eureka, Histrix, Zool, Archaeus Cloud Foundry Service Broker HashiCorp Console Amazon Web Services OpenFane Apache Zookeeper In this video, we will discuss Netflix Eureka. What is Netflix Eureka? This is a tool provided by Netflix to provide a solution for service discovery. Eureka is a REST-based service that is primarily used in the AWS cloud for locating services for the purpose of load balancing and failover of middle-tier servers. At Netflix, Eureka is used for the following purposes apart from playing a critical part in mid-tier load balancing. It consists of the Eureka server and Eureka clients. Eureka server is in itself a microservice to which all other microservices registers. Eureka clients are the independent microservices. Next video, we will discuss other types of service discovery, service registration and discovery can achieve with the help of Spring Cloud. So let's the search for Spring Cloud. Open first link. Here is the overview of Spring Cloud. Spring Cloud provides tools for developers to quickly build some of the common patterns in distributed systems, for example configuration management, service discovery, circuit breakers, intelligent routing, micro proxy, a control bus, one-time tokens, global locks, leadership election, distributed sessions, cluster state. Coordination of distributed systems leads to boilerplate patterns, and using Spring Cloud developers can quickly stand up services and applications that implement those patterns. They will work well in any distributed environment, including the developer's own laptop, bare metal data centers, and managed platforms such as Cloud Foundry. Features, so as you can see there are many options are available but in this video, we will be a focus on the second point. Spring Cloud focuses on providing good out-of-box experience for typical use cases and extensibility mechanism to cover others, distributed slash version configuration, service registration and discovery routing, service-to-service -service calls, load balancing, circuit breakers, global locks, leadership election and cluster state, distributed messaging. Spring Cloud takes a very declarative approach, and often you get a lot of features with just a class path change and or an annotation. The example application that is a discovery client. See some sample code is there. So as per this code need to add annotation like enable discovery client or server. Main projects. As you can see there are many projects available. Release trains. So for releases you can choose as per you Spring Boot version. As I said earlier in this video we will see about Spring Cloud Netflix. Open this link. Spring Cloud Netflix. Spring Cloud Netflix provides Netflix OSS integrations for Spring Boot apps through auto configuration and binding to the Spring environment and other Spring programming model idioms. With a few simple annotations, 
you can quickly enable and configure the common patterns inside your application and build large distributed systems with battle-tested Netflix components. The patterns provided include Service Discovery, Eureka, Circuit Breaker, Hystrix, Intelligent Routing, Zool, and Client-Side Load Balancing, Ribbon. Features Spring Cloud Netflix Features Service Discovery Eureka instances can be registered and clients can discover the instances using Spring Managed Beans. Service Discovery An embedded Eureka server can be created with declarative Java configuration. Here is the sample code. Need to add enable Eureka client or server. We will see all in detail so wait and watch till the end. Let's start. Click on Spring Initializer. First, we will start with Netflix Eureka server. Change group ID. Give some artifact like Eureka server. Add required dependencies like DevTools and Eureka server. Click on Generate Project. Project generated successfully. Unzip it. Let's include this project in Spring Source. Project imported successfully. Just to make it simple I changed package and class name. First let's open application class and application properties file. Now need to annotate this as enable Eureka server. That's it for this class. Need to add some properties in the application properties file. So first add server port. I am setting 8761 that's a standard port for Eureka server. Set register with Eureka and fetch registry false. That's it. Let's start the server. Server started. Let's open. See it's working. See it's very simple to configure the Eureka server. Instances currently registered with Eureka. Now no instances available. Just quick review changes. It's very simple. Now let's see how to create Eureka client. Open again Spring Initializer. Remove Eureka server. Change artifact to Eureka client. Add a dependency for Eureka discovery. Let's click on Generate Project. Project generated successfully. Unzip it. Let's include this project in Spring Source. Project imported successfully. Just to make it simple I changed package and class name. First let's open application class and application properties file. Add some simple properties like application name and port. Now need to annotate this as enable Eureka client. Now add rest controller code from the sample. REST controller is giving an error because forgot to add web dependency. See now error gone. That's it.
Let's run this project. Server started. See in server log Eureka client 1 is automatically added, as I said in the beginning. Now let's refresh. Here also you can see a under instances 1 row added and you can see the status is up and in brackets 1. So like 1 if the same application is running on multiple instances then this count will increase automatically. See client also printing output. Now stop the client Tomcat server. See now automatically instance removed. Now let's change the port number. So instead of running directly, let's create a jar file using maven. Execute maven clean command. Clean successfully. Execute maven install command. Installed successfully. Under target jar file created, let's copy this jar and paste it somewhere near to project. We will execute this jar file using java command. Like java minus jar. C server started. See it's working hello world message is printing. See now instance is automatically added with new port number 8004. Now change the port back to 8001. Start the server for client. Server started. Now both the instances are registered with Eureka server you can see in the log. See both are working now. See now two instances are registered with the same application. Let's stop the 8004 server. See 8004 automatically removed from the list. Restart again. C client register is happening automatically. Let's copy this client and save as a new application. I copied the client two times, so now four clients are available. Here application is not doing anything, but in real time scenario, these client contain so much code and if required they communicate with each other. For copied application let's change application name and port number. That's it for both the clients. Let's start the server for both the clients. Client number 2 is started. Let's refresh the Eureka server. See client 2 registered automatically. Refresh again, see client 3 also registered automatically. See like that, as many as an application you can register, the only thing you need to add enable Eureka client in an application class. Let's review whatever code we added. See all four applications are up and running.
I checked in my changes, open our GitHub page. Click on Repositories. Under Spring Boot Microservices Eureka you can find our code. See here is the code. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.